you were just talking about being in that bubble and not necessarily you know being able to appreciate the younger fighters. Are you able to appreciate what this fight means to fans who've been following the sport for a long time? I, I hear it a lot. It's funny because some of my closest friends to pull me inside, even my wife, she's like loves Andre's style of fighting. I remember she telling me, you know, for a while there. I mean, how many times? Who was the one fighter you said you always wanted me to face? Face? Yeah. Like again? No, just in uh, general. Yeah, Andre Oscar. Yeah, so I mean, the people around me are very much, you know, keen on wanting the fight to occur. You know, uh, me, it's a challenge. He's a great fighter. Uh, but uh, that's what it means to me is just facing somebody who's very good. I guess I don't look at the outside implications. I, I'm aware of them, they just don't sink in. Um, you know, a year and a half ago, if I had told you, though, that, you know, there would be a fight that actually mattered at the very top of the heavyweight division yeah. between you and Andre Lost, would you believe it? Probably not. Uh, I think both of us, you know, were being written off uh, two years ago. Both of us were being clamored, you know, it was clamorings for us to retire. So to sit there and say that we weren't just doing a, uh, being thrown on the card, two old guy legends going at it, but actually a top 10 heavyweight bout that's going to decide possibly, you know, where you're going to stand in line for title contingency. Um, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, it's sort of amazing. <laughs> yeah, but it comes from just one step at a time. But, uh, and then, I mean, I just want to talk to you about the, you taking the year off. Because I talked to guys like Ross Peterson who were getting in, in right away, and I know you wouldn't you know, criticize them, but would you tell some younger guys, like, hey, there's value in just getting a little bit of rest and getting Absolutely. away from the fight game and getting your head? Absolutely. I mean, this is the way I looked at it. How many guys have sat in the locker room after a fight and lost? and realized they didn't lose because the guy did something good and they weren't capable of doing something better. But they lost because of a weakness, an error, an injury that hindered their training or hindered their ability to perform at their maximum level. I can live with fights that I lose where if I'm fighting at 100% you know, or near two, realistically, and I go out there and perform well. Losing fights where you're not even, you know, I've lost fights where afterwards I already had the surgery scheduled for the weekend after, you know, the Tuesday after the fight because of the injury I occurred leading up to the fight. But we take it, we go in there, and you fight, and you know, you try to fix your body. And it's just not, if you can't avoid it, it's not the best approach. It catches up to you. Awesome. Thanks. Frank, I think everybody's expecting a, an explosive fight based on what you and him have done leading up to this fight. Is that what you're expecting, or what, how do you expect this fight to play out? Yeah, Saturday? very much. I think we're going to see two guys. It's almost like a Cobra and a Mongoose here. I think a lot of quickness and speed. You know, he's very fast and agile, and I'm going to try to get a hold of him. And I have a powered explosion, too. Um, I think he's more mobile on the outside and can move around. But, uh, you know, if he gets too close, I'm explosive and powerful with my hands. Uh, not as much in and out as he's going to do, but for one step, I mean, I'm able to drive in and explode. I mean, I and we've seen what's happened in my last two fights. I was able to cover the distance very quickly and hit guys and hurt them. You're obviously from here. You've been doing this for a long time. How are these events compared to when you first started? Do they hold the same emotion? Is it, is it more of a natural thing now for you since you've been at these type of events for so long? Well, I mean, more routine, I think, with anything else. You know, the more you're uh, exposed to something, the more you become accustomed to it. Yeah. And uh, when you took that year off and you were thinking about coming back or not, how did you make that decision to come back? What, what were the factors that played into that decision? Well, bringing back my overall health, you know, the injuries and, and healing up and able to perform like an athlete inside the gym again, I was able to then make that decision to try to get back in there and fight. But did you always know that you were going to come back when you no, took that year off? I actually off? went in and decided to try to retire. My family, my wife specifically, came in and just told me, you can consider yourself retired, but let's just right. let's revalue this in six so months. So when you came back, was it just that you felt like you still had it, or how did you come to the decision to say, I'm well, going to continue fighting? I was in the gym just working out, just, you know, like I'll always work out, just as a general health and be a fitness, you know, for an athlete and a martial artist. And all of a sudden, I was performing and doing things that I hadn't been able to do before, and all of a sudden, then the bug bit me again to go out there and perform. What do you think in, during this streak? Have you been doing anything different? How do you feel you maybe have changed since you took that year off? What, what's, what's the difference between you well, and right you now? Well, Ricky Lindell being the head coach is one huge change. Okay. I brought back one of my old training partners, James Horn, has been a part of the camp. And then, um, you know, obviously the addition of Angelo uh, Reyes and uh, Anna Hulitin has helped out immensely. Yeah, I spoke to Angelo one time. He was mentioning your improved boxing technique. How, how, how has this work been for you? What, do you? what do you feel is the difference now for you since working with Well, you know, just, his style, it, it, he's able to explain it to me and I'm able to understand where he's coming from. Our brains connect very easily on that aspect, so that makes it much more efficient. And then, uh, you know, when he brings in some sparring partners like, you know, Marco Hogg, Romain Severn, you know, world-class boxers that I get to work with, it gets to reinforce great technique. Okay. And fighting, uh, sparring with those guys, have you seen the difference 
in your sparring as far as like how you're able to oh, you know, spar with them? Nine and, day difference okay. from a year ago. I can't even compare. If I were to fight myself a year ago, I wouldn't last 30 seconds. Perfect. Last question. How will you know when it's, it is the time to, to go? Is it a matter of your body, your mind? Or? I'm going to see a lot of cars parked out my house. <laughs> I'm going to come inside and I'm going to hear the, sit down Frank, we all want to talk to you. Everybody so, here so you're basically going to have to be full. Yeah, I'm going to have to have an intervention. Thank you, Frank. Thanks.